Hello everybody, West Country Explorer here today. Now, I'm by myself, my wife's gone back to spend a week with her mum and stepdad. So, and I'm staying at home because I've only got two days off work, um, today and tomorrow, and then I'm back into work Wednesday. Whereas my wife, she's got the whole week off. So, like I said, she's spending a week back with her mum and stepdad over in the West Sussex area. And I'm out on my jollies doing a bit of a video. And now this video I'm going to be doing on King Alfred's Monument. So I hope you enjoy guys. See you after the intro. by the river Tone. Quite a nice little river. I don't know if I can zoom in. Just there between the trees is Burrow Mump with the ruined church on top. That's why I'm going to go a bit later, do a video on that. But for here, what I'm going to do is going to do a video on King Alfred's monument which is just up there. Alright so I've just come over that stile there, coming down here. Now there's no, oh, oh steady Dave, it's um, very wet underfoot here. Now there's no public footpath to the monument there's a permissive way, permissive right away. So here you go, yeah. So basically, yeah, got no public right away, just purely allowed to use it for as long as the landowner gives us permission. Can you see that? So basically, this was, this is um, Athelney. I think that's how you pronounce it. I thought this little village, hamlet, whatever it is, is Athelney. Now, back in the 9th century, Sort of the, I think around about the 80s, 70s, King Alfred had a, built a, like a fort here. I think that's a bull over there, so be careful Dave. Yeah, so, um, when the Danes were invading, King Alfred, he built a fort here and successfully fought the Danes off. And he then, I think he also, after he successfully got rid of the Danes, he built an abbey here, up on the abbey. Um, right, yep. Yeah, so the Mon uh, King Alfred's monument was built in 1801. Oh. To commemorate him successfully defeating the Danes in this area. I think he was, yeah, he built a fort, like fortifications here, and I think he was in this, him and his army were here for about seven weeks until they and then defeated the Danes. Now the story about King Alfred burning the cakes was it you know some a woman had, he was staying, staying at a woman's house and she had to go out and ask him to keep an eye on the cakes while she went out and he accidentally burnt them. Apparently that happened here. Now of course that's a 
I think that's a Victorian invention, that story about him burning the cakes, but apparently this is this is where it happened at Athelney. So there you go. King Alfred's monument. There's not much light about, so not showing up very well. It'd be really nice if there was complete blue skies. Well, there's a bit of blue sky over there. There you go, this is um yeah this is the area where Alfred and his army had a fortifications. No. I think it was twelve no twelve eight seventy eight they were here if I remember rightly. Uh, so this is all this is private land belonging to that farm so it's just permissive way up to the monument across our farmland so I, mean, I can't see the can't see the farmers taking the permission away anytime soon but you never know you never know so yeah I mean this is all part of the Somerset levels. King Alfred's monument. Oh, there you go, guys. Just a short little video on a little bit of English history. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. And like I said, it's that monument, it's one of those things it's just tucked away in the middle of nowhere and can easily be not known about. Now the fact that it's probably not well known, probably a double-edged sword that I'd say, double-edged sword even, that's what I'm trying to say. The downside of it not being well known is a lot of people are missing out on seeing it. The upside is those of us that do come and see it, we're not having to sort of fight our way through a mass of other tourists. I've been able to come here, do a bit of recording, and not have to worry about trying to avoid getting people in the shot because when I'm doing recording I'm always a bit wary of like getting people in shot in case they don't want to be in a video you know so <laughs> it can sometimes be difficult trying to hold the camera up and to the side trying to avoid recording people but a place like this well, there's nobody about so don't have to worry but yeah Right, so guys, that's a, the monument. So, if you're ever in the Somerset area, like I said, Athel near you, it's sort of, sort of in the Bridgewater Taunton area. So if you're ever in the area, and you've got a few minutes, and that, I definitely recommend coming to have a little look. All right, guys. What do you think, bull? Oh, I'm pretty sure it's a bull. So, oh fuck, he's looking at me. <laughs> he's like, you talking about me, mate? Get out of my field. <laughs> so, I won't hang around too long, just in case he does that bull decides to charge me, charge at me. <laughs> anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And like I said, feel free to 
like, comment, all the usual. But I'm gonna go, I'm just about to go down the road to borrow Mump. Like I'm gonna do another video there. But I'll finish this video here. And I'll do the usual guys. You know the drill. Yep. Stay safe, take care, and God bless. Thank you.